right, thank you for your patience. Uh, I just need something to take care of while I let people who want to watch file in. Do I have my drink? I do. Um, intermittent streaming. I'm going to try to get back to intermittent streaming coming too. Uh, just so uh, anyone, so I can sort of have some sort of schedule and you guys get some wonderful uh, art content. Maybe so bold. Uh, if there are any adjustments that I need to make, uh, let me know. I will be watching the chat uh, while I stream. So if you have any feedback, I can uh, I can keep an eye on that and adjust volume as needed, uh, both for myself and the music that I have it on the background. Uh, if you have any questions about art, about anything I kind of say, you absolutely are always welcome to ask. And last but not least, as always, uh, two things actually. <laughs> um, a, make sure you have snacks or a drink if you are doing anything alongside me. Um, and if you are doing art alongside me as well, absolutely, if you are comfortable, feel free to tell me in the chat what you're working on. Or better yet, share it, uh, share it with me on Twitter, uh, on on Clockwork System, on Clockwork Sys, uh, on Twitter, at the end of the stream, I will be putting that in, putting that information on screen as well, just so you can get a better phrase for, frame for what that actually looks like. With that in mind, I believe we are ready to go. Uh, there we go. Now, I'm going to tell you all about the piece I'm sort of working on. So I have uh, so I have a piece that I've been working on uh, that I just started for my partner. Because I just finished a piece for uh, my other partner. Uh, we're back to back and uh, playing on the Switch. Now, I called that piece Parallel Play because we parallel play all the time together. Um, with that in mind, I can't get to the other to the other person in this piece simply because uh, she hasn't gotten back to me with some reference for her outfit um, that uh, she might usually wear. Uh, but here we are. So I am currently just going to before I put any shading in, um, put in a little bit of. Uh, I'm gonna put in some of the some of the finer details that I wasn't able to put in yesterday uh, when I was setting this up, um, uh, just so I know for a fact that uh, it's not just going to all be one note. Those aren't fun pieces to work on um, for the viewer or for me. Um, but here we go. So I'm just going to get in some of these pieces, just a little bit of lining for the for the shorts. Um, there we go. There we go. All right, so that's one done. And of course, that will be shaded. Shading is going to be the main goal of today. Uh, but for now, I just need to make sure that has its own sort of of note to work with so that it's not all one note like I said how is everyone's day by the way uh, mine has been I haven't been awake very long yet um, and after the stream I will be doing some some online research for life circumstance stuff uh, alongside doing some Pokemon Arceus now, something I have discovered, um, as I was looking for, um, things to record on the Switch, I don't have, apparently you can't record on the Switch Lite, which is what I have. Um, so that will be a little bit way off, but if there are video games that I have the computer space for, um, that is definitely something that I can do, and will be, um, looking forward to doing is 
long as I have the space and people are interested in watching. But first I have to know anyone is interested in it. And that's specific content for me right now in the first place, so I will hold off on that. Um, there we go. There we go. And now, hop in here just to finish this last bit here. There we go. Now let's try to get all of this without getting out of the line because if I have to clean up, I ha I risk I risk having to uh, also clean up the rest of the shorts, which is not ideal. Um, and the other thing that I'm going to have to hop in and clean up a little bit is going to be the boots, which I will show you in a moment. Um, they're not the exact boots I would normally wear, of course. Uh, I do not quite have the skill level slash and or confidence to try to paint uh, laces on stream, but, uh, it is absolutely about as close to the boots that I would wear as I'm going to get, um, so let me get to the right layer really quick, and then make that a little darker, and one by one. There we go. How is that? Alright, now I'm just going to make this tool size just a little smaller. There, and now we have the sort of elastic that would be un that would be at this sort of joint in the boot. Now, Actually, it occurs to me that I, I kind of want to talk about something that I that I watched recently. Um, there is this YouTuber um, that I don't watch all of his content, but he makes interesting stuff. And like when he does make longer form content, it is always incredible. I adore it. I adore the content he makes a lot of the time, um, at least what I have been watching. Um, I discovered him through, uh, his name is Mike's Mike, and if you are familiar with that name, I am so happy. He makes such good, good content. Um, I discovered him through his Pretty Little Liars um, series, where he made three videos titled An Appropriately Unhinged Recap of Pretty Little Liars Part 1 part two, part three. And they were upwards of two, two to two and a half hours long each. <laughs> sort of talking about um, feral uh, sort of like shows that make no sense. Um, and sort of explaining it for the rest of us so to save all of us our, our valuable time. Doing us all a real service, honestly. Um, well, <laughs> he uploaded the first episode of him breaking down Glee, and it's a delight. Not Glee, um, but the breakdown of it. Absolutely delightful. Well, give me a moment. Here we go. Alright, um, I'm not going to mess with the eye too much until I kind of have to. Our skin shading. We are going to shade uh, the skin. And thankfully, with my... With painting my face, it's a little bit more... Painting me, it's a little bit more of a... Uh, case of how much do I want to include um, I don't have to do I have a little bit easier when I'm painting myself because I don't have to paint brows 
Um, as much as I might need to shave them every once in a while, I don't need to paint them. Um, which makes it very much easier for me. For me to have to, to paint that. Now I need to wiggle just a little bit just to see where this line is. There we go. I have to make sure that I am getting all the shading spots here. There we go. There we go. Now we need to see sort of that like where the shadow and shading starts to form under here. Um. Oh no. Okay. Not what I was looking to do. Um, this is also going to create very strong shading in, in that, um, inescapable, basically. A little hard to avoid. There we go. And we're gonna put this here. There we go. And already... I kind of like where this is going. Okay, no. I say, immediately before doing that, um, counteracting my point. Don't mind me. This is touch and go. That's why there's a back button. Um, let me... So I will do the shading around the face last, I believe. We are going to do this. There we go. Actually, I can probably make this bigger, and that's what I'm gonna do. Make this 45. And then set this at 25 at 25 opacity. It's not perfect, but it'll do the job. Alright, and now I set this back at that, and then I bring this back to size 5. I think now, actually, before I forget, I'm gonna do I'll blend that, and then I will clean that up, I think is the, si the decision I'm going to make. Just because you want to make sure you're, you're shading as needed. There we go. Alright, and then let's hop in. Let's make that tool size a little smaller. And do this. So I'm going to try to refrain from talking about uh, Legends of Arceus for a little bit in the case that like I can end up getting a Switch, like a regular Switch to, to stream it on. Um, but know that I am thoroughly enjoying it, uh, and I think I'm kind of glad that I, got, that I can't stream it yet, or that I have to wait, just because then I can enjoy the game on my own and then present it to you. In a way that's like more enjoyable as an experience, I won't be bumbling around so much, um, which I think we'll all appreciate just a little bit. Uh, I tend to I tend to do that sometimes. Okay, there's that shading done. Let's let's get off of the face for a little while. Uh, we're going to do that. There we go. All right. So we're gonna get all the shading, all the shading lighting in, and then we shading in, and then we'll pop in some of the lighting. Um, for now though, uh, this is what we're working with. Um, and I'm not minding it so much. There we go. 
this is not a bad look. Um, it's not coming out so bad. Uh, sometimes you just have to take your time with it. Um, make sure that you're getting everything just right. Um, and I do have more skin to shade with this round. Um, because I often wear shorts if I'm not wearing sweatpants. And I don't draw enough shorts um, in my art, so I decided to go with that. I decided to make that executive decision. So I could adjust that, get a little bit more practice. Now, let's do that over here. Yeah, and this is why I sort of put that in between the thumb here as well on the other side. Um, we're going to make this tool a little smaller. Not that small, though. Um, there we go. Put that there. There we go, alright. Six. Now, I don't know if this is going to- No, I mean, maybe let's set that to ten- to eight. Eight seems like a good... Correction. Speak too soon. Yeah, I'm gonna go with ten. Um... And then we'll go from there. We'll finish... Getting- I'll finish getting all the sort of shading on the arm first on the arms and then I will hop into doing the legs there we go and then let's sort of get that in this will involve more cleanup but I think I am also willing to do that cleanup um, which means I'm okay with that. There we go. Now let's hop in over here. Um, and again, for our new viewer, if there is an audio volume, um, or anything that needs to be adjusted, uh, that's making the viewing experience a little more unpleasant, uh, let me know. And I will make adjustments uh, that way we're all enjoying ourselves here how is everyone's day by the way uh, it is an interactive stream do, 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 do. all right and now we have that base done I will pop in, like I said, that lighting afterwards. Oh. Uh, just to make sure that I'm doing it right. Um, and not missing any sort of slots. But everyone's having a good day. There we go. I'm gonna mind all those sort of things that sort of give off some, some shading. There we go. There we go. Alright. And then one leg left to shade, and then we will go from there. And we can start to put that lighting in. Now I can I'm gonna put like a little bit of shading here. Maybe not that much though. I should be alright we should be alright without that. Um There we go. And then Almost done, and we can pop in that shade, that lighting that is to say. Definitely looking forward to how this, like, how dynamic and sort of 
exactly the the skin is going to look so that is the end goal of all this for all the cleanup that's gonna have to happen afterwards that's what all of this is for um, to pop that shading that lighting in and and have that moment of light fuck yeah that looks awesome now um we're talking super pale yes yes all right now um i also don't put the lighting on the same level um most of the time in terms of like depth um so this may look like a lot of light like pretty deep lighting this is not as this is at 75 percent opacity compared to the 90 percent opacity that the shading has just to sort of create that depth of like that feel of like fading or uh blended paint because that's what this is um but in digital art it can be it can sometimes be harder to sort of simulate that there we go all right now that's blended let's put the tool size for the marker which is what i'm using the ink pen at five Um, do that, and go over to the other hand with this, and then I will hop back into that bigger tool just to get up the arms. And how about that? This is going to come out pretty good I'm feeling once it's especially once it's cleaned up um make that a smaller tool just to make sure that we're getting some sort of light in there even if it's not the main centerpiece and then we hop into this five tool again no let's hop into that eight And we hop back into that 10 size tool and we are going to start gliding this up the arm it's not all the way sort of intersecting with some of the shading i just want to create the, the depth of like the 3d arm There we go. Now, it can be a little messy since it's just going to be blended as long as it's going to blend for the most part into the shape that you are looking for. Um, now, I can probably turn down the opacity on this here. Uh, just to make it a little softer of a shading on the face. Um, and I'm going to turn down tool size as well um, and put a little dollop on the nose there and there and then I will obviously do some cleanup where it overlaps on say the eyes or into the lip um, as needed I'm gonna make that a 20 tool size, 20 size tool, make sure you're hydrating, now I don't know what is happening with this tool, I need to fudge with it a little bit, instant blur, is that what I'm looking for? Let's see. Yeah, that's I think that's what I'm gonna gonna work with. There we go. So that's sort of what I'm looking for. Instant blur. I don't know when that tool changed its like 
settings, but this is more of what I'm trying to create. And we can sort of now um, begin to see that depth start to show up. Um, okay, so I need to first clean this, blend this, that is. And a little softer as well. Um, and then I'm going to make the tool smaller. Now, this won't blend out as much as it otherwise might. Um, but that's alright. It's not what we're here to do. We're here to sort of create the illusion of this round nose. Where that it is, where it is. There we go, and here we have the roundness of that face. Uh, now I'm going to pop in once I actually before I do that. Let's blend this out real quick. Okay, no, it's one size off that I was looking for. Okay, awesome. Now, now we can see the sort of shading and blending here, and the shape that I'm that I've sort of made around the neck. Here we sort of see that it's sort of 3D. Uh, I'm actually going to right now go into. Go into the eyes just to clean that up a little bit. If I can get the right size tool. There we go. There we go. And now we have a perfectly shaded face. Just the way we want it. Let me just pop in here real quick. Sort of soften up that that blending there. And then afterwards we will put in I'll put in a cleanup layer. Because we are definitely gonna be having some cleanup to go in with, to go in for. There we go. Now, admittedly, I am absolutely going to have to do a lot of cleanup work, and every time I sort of do a skin tone, unless I am, like, color matching it, um, it is going to be a little bit off, so it, that's always going to be a guessing game um, that I just get a little bit better at um, every single time. That being said... Oh no, did I? Okay. So I'm going to make this tool a little bit smaller, actually. Um, that being said, I already adore the sort of depth that's in here. Um, there is no escaping that this is like a shape. This is a person, this is person shaped, if, if you will. Um, and especially with some of the, uh, line art sort of moved, I don't know, something that I'm trying to put into place, and I know I've talked about this before. Um, but it is hard to remember sometimes. Um, I have been putting, uh, I put, uh, skin tone sort of colored li uh, line art instead, which is sort of adding to this feel of, this is, a, this is, a, like, not a painting, but a person. Um, which I think is always very good and to be able to hear about your own piece, especially about a piece you're working on, especially if that is the intended goal. Um, the feel of something that's semi-realistic, if not actually realistic, eventually. Let me know, by the way, just a gentle reminder, don't let me know if anything needs to be adjusted. 
Um, as I paint, I am watching the chat so that you can tell me. Um, or if you have any any sort of questions, as per usual, um, that you have, feel free to ask. There we go. There we go. All right. There we go. There we go. All right. Now, uh, I this might look a little odd until we clean it up. But we do need to sort of create the shape of that knee um, to sort of make sure that you can see that it's in motion, that it is uh, bent. Hence the sort of like out of place seeming knee shape here. But as soon as I finish blending this, we can hop into that cleanup. And sort of make that soft and just like that. Now doesn't that look gorgeous? I adore this. I adore this so much. Okay. Um, now with this skin reference, I'm also going to put this at 90. Make it a giant sort of blending, sort of clean up tool right here, just so I have something to compare it to background wise. And now we can probably close in on that face and work our way down. Because this absolutely needs to be cleaned up. Not so much with the face, thankfully, because I was a little bit more careful about where I put that shading. Um, but we're just going to work our way down and clean up. Our skin shading. There we go. There we go. And as always, I just kind of I love seeing the, the satisfying way that uh, cleaning up the shading really changes a piece and gives it that depth because otherwise you're just sort of left with that blending along the side that's sort of faded out that's sort of fading out that doesn't really look all that nice but you can clean up there we go There we go. I know that um, alongside wanting to get a full size switch, the full blown switch, um, I do want to be able to, um, at some point, uh, do something that my girlfriend, wonderful girlfriend, has advised, advised of me um, and get a tablet because, shockingly enough, this is all done. Without a tablet, this is done with my fingers on a mouse pad. Uh, and it's time consuming, but considering the work that I am able to make with that in mind, I am very proud of what I've been able to do. And once I have a tablet, I can only begin to guess how much that's going to change and how much better I'm going to be able to get. Um, so this is not where I stop, folks. Um, to a degree, I think, like, unless that little improvements. As long as, like, you're trying to, for yourself or for anything else, really. But, like, there's always at least, like, one small thing you're maybe trying to improve. Something you're sort of looking at, met at, like, a piece and going, huh. Okay, well, that didn't work as well. Um. That way, you're always sort of, you always sort of feel like you're making progress moving forward, um, even if it's for fun. Because there's a sense of accomplishment that comes with like recognizing, ah, yes, here, 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 here. Especially 
and you're self-taught. Because this is all self-taught. There's a lot of pride and accomplishment that goes into that. There we go. It's always interesting to see how lagged behind stream is from what I'm from where I am am in the art piece. Always interesting. There we go, alright. Little things. I appreciate the little moments. The cleanup. God, this looks so beautiful. And it's always like, I think something that I try to appreciate about my own art. I try to keep in mind the perspective of like, I can look, if I just look at the final piece, it can sometimes be very easy for me to go, well, that's not all that impressive. But um, if I look back on my process and I try to remember, oh yes, this is where I started. This is, this is what I was working with. It becomes that much more like, oh yes, it took patience. It took precision that I otherwise might not have had. Um, and that's one of those things where like, I'm very much trying to reward my own self-esteem in that way of like, no, that's an impressive sort of feat for myself that I've managed. Because we all start somewhere and at one point in time I never could have imagined making a piece like this or making something this precise. Like, I'm not even going to attempt painting the other side until I am completed this. And also, because, you know, I do need a frame of reference um, for the outfit. Because I always do the outfit first, and then I do the skin with the, with the models that I work with. That help me get a frame of reference. I actually also think that the legs are going to be a lot easier to paint. For certain. There we go. Now look at that clean up. Small little swipe. But I will never not find that satisfying. It's probably the equivalent of, of, of watching soap cutting videos for, for some people. Or slime. Especially when you're adding in the little detail that it's not the black line art either. It's the skin tone li like line art that I'm working with that I was that I tried to be very careful to, to include instead of the black line art. But it's a little more completing. Make it feel sort of real. Because it sort of adds to that, and even if it doesn't add to the illusion, uh, but it, it very much leaves it neutral compared to the way that black line art does not do. Black line art sort of calls attention to the fact that this is a painting. This isn't 3D, this isn't any of that. Um, and I kind of enjoy the, the sort of suspension of disbelief that I've that I find coming from like something like this. Because that's just a hand, you know? This is just a hand that I'm cleaning up. There we go. There we go. Hell yes. There we go. Oh, 
Oh dear. Okay, okay, okay. A little bit by a little bit. This is where having a tablet comes in handy when your when your mouse starts to go a little bit haywire. Um just to make sure, you know, that you're not going in the wrong direction. It saves cleanup time, it saves correction time. Um There we go. And actually, let me repaint this. Let me repaint this up. I was starting to get into the shoulder. There we go. Now the arms. We have the we have the, the shape of the arms. They're rounded, they have that dimension. Now what's left is the legs. And thankfully these will probably be much easier to clean. I am curious, what the heck? What video game is this from? The Lum's Dream. Glue glue, Raymond's oranges. I'm gonna change that real quick. That way, so I don't get too distracted. Not something we want to happen. Let me get, let me up the size of that tool real quick. Once I finish the legs, we're gonna take a five minute break. Um. Just to make sure that we are stretching, we're getting snacks as needed. Once I finish the legs, we're already over 45 minutes, which is about usually when I try to pause. But I want to finish this before I start on anything else. There we go. Alright, uh, that side of that leg is cleaned up. There we go. There we go. Alright. Let's see how close to this we can get before we pull it out. There we go. There we go. I don't know why it's come to mind right now, actually. But do any of you watch Sword Art Online? Because I kind of do. Um, kind of being an important word there, uh, cause on occasion I do pop in to watch a few episodes and I, like, I'll just take, I'll probably watch consistently an anime for four or so episodes at a time, I wanna say. Um, and then we, uh, and then my brain tends to hit the point of, no, I'm good. Like, no thank you. Uh, either because of content or my brain very much actively has just decided it's done processing information. Um, or not interested. In that way that, like, sometimes someone who has, like, issues around food might go, Okay, no. <laughs> I'm done. Um, can't make myself consume it anymore, sort of a thing. Um, but, when I hop back into it, um... Uh, what com what's coming to mind right now is, and note for spoilers, I guess, um, I'm, li I'm thinking back to season three, um, of Alicization, of Alicization, yes, um, 
and of like when they're climbing that tower and I remember when I was watching I was like okay we'll reach the tower anytime now um, I don't know why but I guess I was surprised that like half the season was just going to be them climbing up this tower but it wasn't um, there, er, but it was and it's very but it was very fascinating now that I think about it because it was very cleverly done because even when I, they did get to the top they they had a lot of dynamic battles they had a lot of like it was very interesting like it wasn't just okay fight a battle go up a, go up another set of stairs fight another battle go up another set of stairs um, cause I could very, very easily become boring. Um, but they found ways at, like, every level of, like, here's a problem that they have to solve. Oh no, they got separated. Um, which kept it very interesting. I know, I'm, uh, watch anime. <laughs> to be fair, though, I say it like that, but I think we collectively have watched... Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood upwards of five times at this point which is um, don't know if you're aware a lot <laughs> um, specific I mean especially with like Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood that that shows a piece of art like it was geniusly made it was incredible the animation was cool and, and dynamic and interesting um the the plot always had something moving on. Something I enjoyed about the about Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. There's not a single idiot in the show. Correction. There are many idiots in the show, but like, there's a difference between like you're you're in you're acting like a fool kind of idiot, and also like. I'm actually incompetent in my area of, like, expertise or plot fulfillment. Um, which, it, it falls into the first one. Um, everyone in the show is competent. Um, albeit sometimes maybe cocky or, like, an asshole about it. Um, but it's very, but it's geniusly done. Every single person in the show is competent, even if they have their moments of being just like that. All right. Um, with that in mind, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna take a five minute. I'm gonna take five minutes. Step away, stretch, maybe get a snack, and I suggest you do the same. Um, and I will be right back.
and we are back. Still give me just a moment. Um, and I will pull that art program up right away. Here we go. Alright, make sure that you have stretched, that you have done everything you need to, because we are popping back in for about another half hour before I close the stream for the day. Um, that doesn't mean we are... Well, let me shade the mouth. Now, some of the shading is going to be easier to navigate. Um... Let's see. There. And now, we pop in with that 75 opacity tool at times at, the, at a 5 size. This is where we might have to fudge up the line art, by the way, just a little bit. Um, just to make sure that we're not over overdoing it a little bit. Um, change that tool size on the on that. There we go. Our There we go. We want to get a little bit of that lighting over here. And we blend that into on both sides. Now, lips can be a little questionable just because I'm not always sure how to how to do them with with regards to the Okay, let me resize this. And we are trying to Minimize the size, the... There we go. We can share that. Uh, up the pressure, lower the softness. We are done that. <gasps> and then, it is time to blend and shade those shorts. There we go. Let's go. And then on top of that is when we'll do the shirt, if we have time to get to it today. Now, um, I don't know how much it truly, truly matters. Um, but let's go to 90. And let's immediately already um, sort of put that there just to sort of create that depth. And then I'm going to make the tool size for around the pockets about this size, around three. And we'll blend that in. And then last but not least, you're also going to put an 8 size, well just like this and run it across as a type of shading. Alright, with that in mind, now we can hop into the bigger 
bits of shading by making that that tool 12 size um, size 12 and and sort of running it alongside the, the leg of the, the shorts I will sort of clean up along the fingertip as soon as I get there Thankfully, with the shorts, it's not an overly complicated type of shading. Um, just a little bit of extra cleanup. Um, but thankfully, because the shorts, there's also less to shade to shade in that way. Um, and I'm going to make that tool size 25. Ooh, no. Let's make that a 75 blending okay trying to make sure I'm getting it all in one swipe there we go and now let's actually hop into that uh, and blend that shit To apologize for for hitting the mic, by the way. Uh, trying not to do that. Uh, I know that is an unpleasant sound. There we go. And this sort of softens that up. There we go. And then, we're actually going to up that tool size a little bit further uh, for blending this. This is spread out over a little bit, so it's not going to be as big. I'm just going to make sure that this is blended into the shorts pretty well. So that you barely notice it. There we go. And there we have the shorts that I usually tend up end up wearing. Um, I will clean up along the side now. Um, oh dear. Okay. Remember, we are going to have to be very careful with this. Um, with the overlapping shadings when they overlap but thankfully if we're careful it shouldn't be that difficult um, there we go if we keep the shading outside of that we can probably play it pretty safe alongside this edge too. There we go. Alright, um, and then we're just going to go around the shorts the way that we did with the arms. Thankfully with the shorts, um, there's less to expand. With that in regards to that uh, I'm going to make this tool a little bit smaller just for these little crevices um, get back to that five size tool almost as quickly as I got there now fun fact well, actually, I don't know if it's a fun fact, but it is prompted by some work training that I did recently, uh, where uh, at the orientation, we're looking over the uniform and it said shorts are allowed, but as long as they don't go above the knee. I would like your opinion. Uh, do they count as shorts if they are below the knee? Because as far as I'm concerned, 
those are no longer shorts. Like, by name alone, they're shorts, and that's it. Um, like, that is just too long to be shorts. Compared to anything else. Ooh. We can hop into that shirt now. I'm excited about this. Uh, because this we can have a little bit of fun with. Um, because it's black, we get to, we get to go into the depths of edgy hell for it. Alright. Awesome. Alright, um. Wow. Okay. I forgot how deep that, okay, so I probably don't need it to be that black. Probably go up a little bit. And make that tool a little smaller, too. There we go. That is a lot better, I think. As an option. Alright, there we go. Um. And then the... Do that. And we are going to be doing this. Just so that the shirt has a little bit of depth. As I was saying, um, we want that, that shirt to have a little bit of depth. Let me actually flip that around a bit. And thankfully with this color shirt, um, it's fairly easy just to make sure that we're not going overboard uh that being said we can hop right into here and do that and we're going to probably oh shoot when we mark that to 75% opacity. One of these days I'll remember to make that switch. Um, <laughs> and probably I will make that a little smaller as well. Um, there we go. And then we are going to... There we go, all right. And then, that will blend, theoretically, pretty well into this. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Um, and we begin to blend, blend, blend. I'm probably also going to make this tool a little bit bigger just because this is a very sort of in your face sort of shading um, which is my own fault with shirts I tend to go a little bit overboard I have a hard time sort of reading that a little bit There we go. Hmm. No, I think I think it's just that that's a little too. There we go. Let's see. All right. So with that, I'm, I think I'm actually gonna put that opacity at fifty. This is the trial and error portion of this. There we go. There we go. And then we don't need a big. Don't even. Probably doesn't even need to be that big. But like this. Just to sort of give it that depth. And I can probably go from there with that 45 size tool. There we go. 
This is absolutely better. There we go. Alright. And now we have that more solid sort of shape coming from that. Um, that I can definitely work with a little bit more probably. If you're not careful, and I often am not in this department, with shirts you can sort of take away the shape that you sort of made by, depending on where you put the lighting. I may size this up just a little bit just for this. I think I don't I'm not totally pleased with that. But There we go. All right. There we go. All right. And now we can clean that up. Ha. There we go. All right. And we're going to clean it up as carefully as we can. And it should be easy as pie. This might be the last thing. This of the boots might be the last thing I end up cleaning up today and blending and such. Um, then I'll still have a scarf left. But then, in my own time, I can work on my girlfriend, which I will probably do on my own time and not share, just because uh, that is it's my girlfriend, and um, this, in the long run, once there's more to it, is going to be a, a gift, a very sappy gift. So that is going to remain private. Ooh, there we go. This is looking good. Can't go wrong with undertone music in the background, by the way. If I if I knew it wouldn't be overly distracting, I would put that on every single time I streamed. Just you bet. That is where my attention would be. There we go. And we move forward. There we go. And we go up this side. And then we will almost be done with this shirt. And then if I really want to, I can add a little bit of design on the shirt. Because on occasion, I do wear shirts with designs. Just not very often. At least not beyond a shirt that says, Don't be stupid, stupid. Like my shirt that I'm wearing right now says. Uh, that being said, most of the time, I do lean into, into tank tops. I... They're relaxing, they're comforting, and they are small, and they get, and they are not in your way. Long sleeves, you have to fight the sleeves if you're getting warm. Um, short sleeves up to here, like there's a nothing to fidget with, which if, if you're ADHD or you, or you have any sort of like thing that means that you need help, you need like a little bit of like aid, sort of. Yeah. It's helpful to have have sleeves in that way. And now, turns out the boots will be last because what's next is this thing right here on the paint on my head in the painting. We are going to make that deep er green. There we go. Um, now, let's see.
Let's dip that here. Okay, so I probably don't need to be that deep of a green. Four. Uh, no, that's probably... Okay, that's not deep enough. There we go. That's the green I'm looking for. There we go. And then so we're going to get all the folds in in this um, first, just to make sure we're sort of getting all the all the sort of signs that this is moving fabric. Um and go from there. There we go. I'm gonna create that depth. And we get I wanna make sure I'm getting all of it in one fell swoop. It is, okay, I'm craning my neck a little bit, just because I want to make sure I'm getting it all, and I did a very good job at making it mostly transparent, so it wasn't disruptive, while still being a guideline for me. There we go. All right. Then we sort of pop in some of these pops of color. Oh, I do not need it to be that bright. Um, there we go. We pop that in. Um, putting that here as well. Now, I think I'm actually going to make that a little bit smaller. Um, and then make this 45. Just implies a little bit of that depth there that I otherwise might not have as much of. Um... Awesome, awesome, awesome. Now this is going to be gorgeous. Now I just need to pop back into that shading. There we go. Now I'm trying to avoid having to clean up around this as much as I possibly can, but I know that won't be entirely avoidable. Um, so just bear with me. Um, just want to make sure that I have a little bit of room. All right. And now we pop in with this shading tool again. And we are almost done for the day. I am so excited. I am very happy with this so far. There we go. Yeah. As you can see, there's this depth already. Let's smooth this out. Yes, this already looks incredibly gorgeous. There we go. Let's blend this. There we go. And then I'm going to size this tool up just for sake of this green. This, like, lighter green. It's maybe not giving it, maybe giving off a little bit too much, 
We'll see. There we go. And we are blending and blending and blending as much as is physically possible. We want this to look like folded fabric. There we go. Let's see, Furby. Oh, glorious. That's actually perfect. That's perfect. Look at that. That's gorgeous. Okay, I love this. I love this, it's perfect. Now we just gotta clean up. Because holy crap, that is gorgeous and perfect and I'm not touching that anymore in terms of like blending it away any further. This is perfect and it needs no more adjustment. Now it just needs it just needs to be cleaned up in terms of in terms of like outside of those lines. I adore this. This is coming out so well. I am so happy with this. Gods, I love this so much. This looks so good. Plus, you can still sort of see the sort of fabric folds by the knot. The knot has that depth of like, this is like the furthest like out, and it you can sort of tell it's a knot compared to everything else, which is the goal. Hell yes, okay, and then just a brief clean up here, and then if possible, I am going to see what I can do about those boots, because then I am, because that, if I can complete that, then I am done this piece. This looks so good. I am so happy with this. I am so freaking happy with this. I am so happy with this. I'm so happy. So I know I'm just restating the obvious, the same thing. But this is gorgeous. Yeah, alright. And then I think... I'm gonna do the boots now. Um, but I'm going to make probably either quick I'm either gonna do quick work of it. Let's see. There we go. I think. Yeah, alright. Now I don't think I put anything in here on in terms of In terms of sort of shading, uh, shading markations, is I don't even think that's the right word. So I do. <laughs> I'm making up words. I'm sort of starting to fray a little bit. So this is going to be the last thing I do on stream. But like, I don't think that I did. Uh, and then with this. We're going to put a little bit of that. Uh, I'm going to blend that, actually, and then I will undo that. I'll clean up inside that little flap thing. And then we'll go from there. I'll clean that up, and then... There we go, alright. There we go. Let's make this a smaller tool really quick. And I will be putting different shading 
in here. That is a necessity. There we go. Awesome. Um, and then we're just going to clean this up first. Worst comes to worst, I think I might like it this way and it might not need the shading. Actually. If I think about it. Because it actually looks pretty good. As it is. That little wedge. There we go. Alright. Alright. Oh, yes. Yes, yes. probably make this eraser tool a little bit bigger as well but that's all right i'm not overly stressed about that clean that up a little bit and then you have the lighting which i didn't put in because i completely forgot it existed for for about for a solid like five seconds There we go, let's <coughs> correct some stuff. There, and then we and then I will also put that in a different tool size just because I can. There we go. There we go. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Let's save and then I think No, I'm going to I'm going to put in that extra little bit of little bit of of deep uh it says like two, maybe. There we go. Oh, yes. Yeah, definitely not regretting this. This looks gorgeous. There we go. There we go. All right. Um, and then do that. We give that a little bit of it. We put that at five, and then I, th then I think. Glorious! I am loving this. This looks really, really good. All right. How are we feeling? How are we feeling? Let me turn this clean up reference it reference. That looks so good. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with this. I'm pretty dang happy with this. This looks really really good. All right. Um with that in mind, I'm actually going to end the stream here. Uh, I will be uploading this onto my YouTube if you uh, miss some of it and you want to catch some of it back again or just want to watch the painting process. Um, if you want to catch that on YouTube, that is Clockwork System on YouTube. Um, that should be up later today. Um, if you want to see some of some of my work, uh, some of our work, it's on Clockwork Sis on Instagram. And if you are looking for uh, us on Twitter.
Twitter. It's clockwork underscore sis. Uh, if you've been painting alongside me, drawing, anything like that, definitely feel free to share with me what you've been making. Um, I absolutely love uh, hearing about others' artistic, artistic endeavors. Um, I hope that you've been stretching. I hope that you've been uh, having snacks, drinks, all of that fun stuff. Take care of your your body so that you can continue to do the things you enjoy. Uh, I will try my best to get hot back into streaming, um, at least as the schedule allows, which it's looking my like my schedule at the moment is pretty wide open um, for the Monday, Wednesday, Fridays streaming. Uh, so I will see you on Monday. Please take care of yourself and have